What's going on everybody? It's always a great day to play a roguelike game. So today we're jumping back into God of Weapons. We're doing the third aspect from the Juggernaut and this will be the last one that we need to clear for that character. Let's see what he does for us and yeah we'll see where we go with it. Let's start it up. So here is the Juggernaut. And the last one that he has for us is called the Butcher. So he converts 50% of armor into two times as much vitality. You become 1% larger for one vitality. Interesting. You get more vitality starting up. Vitality modifications are more effective. Feast area. Enemies in a feast area take 2% extra damage for each point of vitality. Feast area grows bigger with vitality. Interesting. Um, yeah, so he's... All about the vitality, I guess. Now, there's a couple of ways that I know we can build vitality. Um, Lifesteal is one of them. <laughs> Lifesteal can get you a lot of vitality with the vampire cart or, or something like that. I usually build vitality anyways, or sorry, uh, lifesteal anyway. So we'll probably go that way and see if we can find the item. I really hope we can. Now, I'm trying to see if there's anything that works with vitality. They're really isn't uh he is called the butcher so should we have him with the cleaver um it works better with armor so i don't know if i really want to use a cleaver if i'm being completely honest 10 percent area of effect damage for each adjacent armor i don't think i'm gonna build armor maybe we can find a better weapon we'll start off with the flail maybe he can tenderize some of the meat Here's a bat amulet. Adjacent lifesteal items gain more lifesteal. Adjacent vitality items gain more vitality. Okay, interesting. Plus three or plus three. Uh, it's not the greatest item. It's definitely the one for him. He's huge. <laughs> Look how big he is compared to everyone else. Holy moly. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, yeah. So there's our... Feast area. So we definitely want an item that attacks a little bit closer range, I guess. Until we have more vitality to have more range on that feast area. Which might be difficult for me to follow just because I really like range items. Uh, things that give you more range. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. The bat's right in the corner. Oh gosh, the flail is a weird, a very weird shape, but I'm still going to use it. The dual sword is going to have more attack speed while not moving. Uh, that could work well. We let things come to us and we just dual sword them up, but I, I don't think I'm going to go with that. A butcher with a crimson rapier? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Here's another flail. Okay, we might as well just try to go down the flail route. This can go in somehow. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's going to have to go like this. They don't actually have to touch the bat. How is this supposed to go in? Like this? Yes, okay. So the our weapons don't need to touch the bat at all, actually. Um, vitality items I don't look for very early. I'm probably just going to go with generic items just because just because vitality items I don't like the the decreases that they do to your stats oh crap we couldn't fit that Ugh. okay go like this again the bat doesn't need to be touching anything so let's just build whatever we want here's another flail can't fit now what if I just move things really quickly like this no okay I'll save you then how much does it take it takes three to combine if with how weirdly shaped it is it's, it's actually not the smallest item either i'm surprised that it's not two two to combine that would make things a lot easier obviously but what can you do so yeah we kind of have a uh, free range on whatever weapons we want to use with this guy he is big and slow though But yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get the vitality going soon. We're not really building him correctly right now, is what I'll say. Uh, let's go up here, perhaps. 
Just give me those six spaces right there. Thank you. Blessed Mace, not going to use that. Warhammer, attacks strike the ground causing an area of effect damage. I almost want to use it with the Butcher here. I'm going to pick up this Flail though. <laughs> Just because we're going down that path so far. Uh, yeah, let's stick you up here. Maybe that's a better spot for you. Don't need you. Wait a minute, combat axe will give base damage for each axe around it. Honestly, I almost want to use them with maybe some claws or maybe some fist weapons would be kind of cool. But we're, we'll definitely keep at least one flail. Just because we started off with a high level one. I am not picking up anything. What's wrong with me? Some crate collar would be nice. I'm surprised we haven't seen one, to be honest. Oh, the belt is actually a decent starting vitality item, if I remember. Or low low level. I'm going to take this. Might not be a good idea. We're not using projectile power, so we can take this. All right, maybe one more reroll. Here it is, Guardian Belt. It gives vitality and armor, but less move speed. Right, that's the trade-off. Is it three spaces or two? It's three spaces. I can't even pick it up right now. I'll lock it in though. It can be the first item that touches the bat and actually does something for us. I'm at one HP, please help. All right, we're just gonna stick around and try not to get jumped on. Can I take a hit yet? Probably at 10 HP I can take at least one hit. There's a floor meat, which is great. Gives us like 25 health. I keep thinking that his feast area is going to do like damage over time. A little bit of AoE damage, but it does not at all. Alright, just give me whatever. I don't even care. Yeah, just hit me up like that. That's fine. Can you fit? Has to be like that. That's fine. Give me this thing. This is, this is possibly the ugliest inventory I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing myself any favors. That could help? Yeah, that, that actually helps a lot. It's just these flails are so weirdly shaped. Potion of enlargement, always. Or dust of enlargement, sorry. And then let's go with... Ooh, I think I'm going to do one more reroll and get out of here. Jeez, Louise. Um, I'm going to save the flail. I don't want too many in the inventory, but at the same time, I don't think we have enough weapons swinging yet. It's like a pretty large upgrade just to have even just a gray weapon um, on top of what you have going already. It's like an extra attack. But I am doing very small pieces of damage. Even for this stage in the game, I feel like we're pretty weak. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh god. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Okay, we made it through. I wasn't even watching the time. I was just freaking out. What is their shape again? Double like this. Okay, so we just need one right there if we want more effect from that or to fit it in. This is a lot of re-rolling. Oh, one more. One more. There you go, it costed two more actually. We can stick you in right there. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. If that's enough, a six one would be great. If I could find another belt and just stick it right here. Excellent, excellent. Now this gives us pierce and more range. I wonder if the spikes from this can pierce, but they only do a little bit of damage anyway, so maybe it's not even worth it. Save the flail, bounce out. 34 health is not a lot. Oh my goodness. Seems like I'm missing some of the enemies too. If they're right beside me, the flail will swing outside of, or like past the enemy every once in a while. The crates are definitely keeping me alive. That's typically the case from floor one to 10. I really do think uh, crates are super, super valuable. They give you lots of money and lots of levels too, if you're lucky. 
Okay, so fitting another flail would be sick. I don't know if we can do it easily, though. Especially with only two spaces, we can't do a crap with that. So just take those two random spaces, sure. Let's start combining, then. Just combine those, whatever. Put another one back in here. Another belt. Okay, so we want the belts touching the bat. There's our quick vitality. Another belt. Ooh. Okay, I'll put it in, although I would rather reserve it for another flail. Ugh. If we had one space up here, we could move this one up and then it would be touching the bat as well. The new, uh, the new belt, but didn't happen. Put this over here. One more reroll. Nothing useful. Let's go in. I might be weaker than last time because I lost a flail. I am definitely larger and slower. Maybe I'm just larger and I seem slower because we're covering the same ground, but um, we're taking bigger steps kind of thing. I don't know. Let me double check that movement speed stat of ours because it is possible that we're losing move speed at the same time as we're growing, but I just forgot about that description in the character sheet. We'll see. We're doing alright. Full health. Two levels. Not enough levels. Our move speed is negative eight, but it must be from the belts. I think it is from the belts. So there is one space I'm looking for right there for sure. Ugh, these are not useful. Okay, you know what? I'll go down here. Why not? I really need that one space. We're re-rolling for it. There it is. Move you up. Yeah, we're losing move speed every time we pick up a belt. That makes a lot of sense. Put you over here instead so that we can save a spot for a belt, perhaps. Oh, God. They keep offering to me. I don't want to move this slow, but... It's the only decent vitality, I think, at this point. Ooh, Looking Glass is good because it gives us more experience. However, we're going to be in danger, <coughs> excuse me, in danger because everything moves a little bit faster. I would like this crate collar. I can't fit it anywhere, though. One more reroll. What does this thing do? Uh, no, that's not good. Let's keep moving forward. Look how large that that feast space is now. This is def definitely getting a lot larger. I almost want to move fast as the butcher, though. I know that we have a little bit of negative move speed right now, but if we could make our way out of that while keeping the belts, I think that would be decent. The vitality items that are not tier 1... Uh, they're much different than the belt, so we'll get our vitality in different ways later. Hopefully. Plus three, nice. Um, if we're going to put another belt around this bat, we're going to need it to stick upwards like that. I'll look out for that space. Okay, I'll re-roll for the space. Come on, please. I know they're going to offer me another belt. This is a pair of boots that will bring back pretty much all of our move speed. Or almost there. Okay, you know what? Give me the boots. Oh, the crate collar. Totally forgot. Okay, crate collar is going to be here instead of the belt for now. Do the free rerolls. Another crate collar. Alright, we're good to roll. 227 health. Very, very rare that I have this much health. It's very rare. Honestly, I feel like most characters I stay like just above 100 by the end of the whole run. So this is, this is feeling a lot different for sure. Okay, we got Metal Mario time. Nothing can hurt me. The butcher is getting large. 
I'm actually surprised that the Golem, which was his second aspect, I'm surprised that that one didn't have a size increase type of uh, mechanic. I, I feel like a Golem would be pretty appropriate to have that. So we're going to move the Crate Collar. I've made a silly situation with this one space open here, but that's okay. Here's another belt for you. 252 health now. We have no space for anything. Attack speed, melee power, less resource gain. You know what? This is good. I'm just going to get out of here and save my cash because I can't fit anything. So what's the point of re-rolling? I can't remember. Does he get melee power or something from Vitality? I'm going to double check that. It is possible. Oh, the thing that he gets is the feast area will increase the damage done to the enemies in the circle. Um, the percentage of damage that it is increased is increased with the vitality. That's probably what's happening. Because yeah, anything in the circle is taking decent damage. Anything outside of it, they're only getting hit with the spikes coming from the flail, but they're only taking very, very small pieces of damage. Let me just double check though. Yeah, that's what's happening. Cool. So what do I want to do? Sure, increase this so I can put something in there. This is a very, very ugly inventory. I think I hit the bottom already. Uh, there's no spaces offered that are going downwards. Let's start building up here then. Sure, that works. Kind of. Put the finger over here. Reroll. Here's another flail. I guess I'll start combining. Put you in here. Wait, I didn't get that sixth flail, did I? God, I don't like the flail at all. <laughs> when am I going to make this switch? Uh, maybe it won't happen. I've, I'm so committed to the flail now. A blue flail? I mean... If we rearrange stuff, we could maybe fit another flail. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Too much thinking. We're combining into a purple. This is a huge risk. We will probably be at a deficit for weapons after this. We'll see. Give me another flail. I'm not going to take the res potion. I think we have enough sustainability. Throwing axe is not good for us. Duh. Combat axe? We don't have any other axes though. I'll take the poison vial. We lose a little bit of vitality, but we get crit chance. I think it's a fair trade. Oh, here's a blue flail. Look at that. So how many do we have? We have four. We should definitely have more weapons than that. Four is a little weak. Another res potion. They're kind of rare, so I'm surprised we sell two within the same shopping. Um, thing. I'm not going to take another belt, I don't think. I'm going to wait for other vitality items. On to the next floor. Halfway through. It's not great. The feast area grows throughout the spawn, which is strange. I've never seen that with a character. I'm just comparing it to what I remember from the... Um, I think it was called the Crusader. It's one of the priestess aspects. She has a holy shield. And I don't remember that happening. I remember her coming out with the holy shield, the full size. But this guy's feast area, it, it's small when he first spawns and then it starts growing to the true size after a couple seconds, I think. Taking lots of damage, but it's, it's, it's not intentional, but I, I am doing it... Uh, I am noticing that I was taking a lot of damage. I just have so much freaking HP, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Somehow I'm healing all the way to full, too. Even though it's a massive amount of HP to heal. Okay, let's see. Seven spaces, not bad. Hit me up like that, sure. Put some spaces down here, too. Why not? Um... This space doesn't matter, but I'll take it. I'm going to put these guys over here. Put this over here. Maybe we'll find a three space item that can fit right here. Um, 
the war banner or what have you would be great. Definitely taking this. We do lose vitality, but it's okay. It's worth the trade for the recovery and life steal. Move speed here. We do do less damage after. I'm definitely going to take this. You know what? I'm going to take the night piece. I think I'm going to go a little bit outside of what the butcher should look like, I guess. Move speed is probably not the top priority stat for anyone that would usually take a look at the butcher, but I just really like move speed in this particular game. Here's a blue flail. I'll save it. I'm going to try to use it. Oh crap, I lost all my HP. I forgot that we took the ritual doll. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. We have a lot of armor from all the belts. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no way. Okay, well, that was a. I took the risk and it didn't pay off. Ugh, God. It's gotta be the same. Maybe the flail's not the right way to go. Should we go with the Warhammer? Okay, let's, let's try him with the Warhammer. I got annoyed with the shape of the flail. I'm not gonna blame the loss on that or anything, but. So, where's this area of damage? Just like a little whirlwind at the end? A little, a little dust, a little dust cloud coming out. Yeah, I don't use a Warhammer very often, for sure. And I'm definitely not impressed with it right now. <laughs> almost dead. Could I die on the first floor? It was almost going to happen. The shape is a little bit easier to work with, I guess. Um, so the bat thing is good with belts for a while. We know that. So let's build a little a little space up here for the bat to chill out. I'm going to go like that with it. And if we see any of those belts, we're going to go with it. Now, are we going to go full Warhammer? I kind of need to decide right now. Combat Axe. It's gigantic, and it needs axes around it to be better. It's kind of sick, though. <laughs> I'm going to forget about it for now. Could get him with a great sword, that'd be funny. Honestly, the butcher with a bunch of claws would be kind of sick too, but he's not. I don't think he's a attack speed type of guy. Hmm. Oh well. Keep moving. Here's a belt. Boom. First belt. Second belt. What else you got? I would like another weapon. Another great hammer, or what are you called? War hammer? could fit right here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Asking you shall receive. Maybe one more reroll. Crate collar we save. Keep moving. So we got lots of vitality. No way to heal yet. <laughs> no recovery. No lifesteal. No additional crates. Oh, the small slimes. I never noticed that they're so mobile. Could you hit the crates, please? Thank God. We got a heal and we got a Metal Mario. Okay, so what do we got here? Definitely need to fit in the crate collar. Hit me up right there. Maybe I'll open up this space for a belt just in case it happens. And we're going to keep building up here. Crate collar in there. This is a different hammer. Was this offered to us? Great hammer is gigantic though. I don't want to think about that. Warhammer, you take three to combine. Thought so. I'll save it. Do a couple of rerolls. A belt would be great. Nope. We're out. Oh crap, I'm stuck on the rock. Get that barrel, please! It was a piece of meat. Very, very much worth it. Yeah, this this Warhammer thing is so slow. Do not like. Oh! <laughs> okay, no more Warhammer. Didn't think I'd struggle this much with the butcher. Honestly, I wanna I wanna go with the claws on him. 
but he does get a starting weapon. Um, I don't know what to do. Like maybe the cleaver could be okay to start with and then the belts that we have, we could have it touching the cleaver. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. So every second attack it, wait, every third attack? When does it just do the earthquake thing? It does the earthquake thing inconsistently. I don't actually understand it. It's kind of like a boss attack, though. It's kind of sick, but yeah, I, I don't want to stack a bunch of these things because they're so oddly shaped. There's just no way I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to build up here. Try to get some belts touching the cleaver thing. But yeah, we're we're going to try to take this a different route. I think we are going to do the claw. So let me see. Plus 10 area effect increases for each adjacent mighty weapon. Not happening. I'm so sorry. But we might get you up with some armor. 55% chance to perform a downward strike. I see. So it's chance based. I got it. I got it. So we got another claw. So I'm wondering... I haven't used a claw for a while, but the claw gets attack speed for every 50 kills with the weapon. I wonder if that carries through after you combine it with other weapons. I wonder how that works exactly, because uh, I'm scared of it losing its buildup after we take three of them and combine them into a higher tier. I hope that it has some kind of logic built in where it will make sure that it keeps all of it kind of thing. I'm actually going to combine it right now out of fear. <laughs> How much is this going to cost? Alright, we already have a blue level. That's fine. Didn't cost that much. Okay, so that's good. And then keep rerolling. Another claw? Sure. Pick it up. Let's get out of here. Lots of weapons. So we got our giant cleaver and we got our little... Little claws, agile claws here. He's the butcher. He's got many tools at his disposal. The thing about the claws is it's definitely going to stay within range. The range of the claws is very, very short. Uh, the range of the, the feast area, I should say. That could change, of course, if we get a bunch of range items and we don't keep up with the vitality. But we shall see. Um, 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 what do I want to do? Let's build up here because we need enough space to get some belts in here. I actually have no plan at all as to what I'm doing with all my space. I'm thinking two belts can touch this thing and the bat at the same time. That should be decent, right? Give me some belts, dude. Here's a belt. Boom. You're tagged with armor, right? You are. So we're going to get plus 10 area of, of effect damage from that. I don't know how many pieces of armor I'm going to be able to have touching the cleaver. I got two set up right here, but that's about it. So yeah, that's a vibe. Let's keep rolling. More belt. There we go. We maxed out on how much armor we can have touching it pretty much already. Uh, here's another claw. I I don't think I can fit it. I'll lock it in. Let's get out of here. I don't know. Our, <laughs> our butcher is looking a little bit sad right now. I'm not going to lie. But I had the idea of using the claws with him. And I'm, I'm going to try to stick with it. But yeah, they have to be really damn close. Oh, almost dead. We're already seeing that decrease in speed from the belts. Damn, I just got invincibility and then the whole thing ended. I was going to stand there and just smack them until they're dead. Um, let's try to get another belt in here, I guess. Something like that could be effective. So do I see the plus damage? Enemies killed with the weapon is 67. 32. Okay, so they do have a counter, at least, for 
the kills that you've gotten with a weapon. We'll see if they combine together to give you a total of the two weapons that you combine together or three weapons that you combine together and just give you like a mass total after you combine. That would be what I hope happens, but it, it's possible that it doesn't happen that way, of course. A crate collar would be sick. There you go. Fits right there perfectly. Let's go. So how's this going to turn out? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Please let me live. So I just figured it out just now that the floor meat that you get from the crates, they heal HP based on your max health. It's a percentage of your max health. I always thought it was a, a static number for some reason. But that must be because I always float around the same amount of max HP no matter who I am. But yeah, with this character being based on vitality, I can really notice a difference. But that makes a lot of sense. Um, four spaces. Just in case I get another belt, hit me up. Like this. One more over here would be great. I do need this space as well. Ah, screw it. I'll just lay it sideways temporarily if I find it. Another claw. Okay, so what we are going to do is do an experiment. Okay, everyone? So 50 plus 95 plus 0. So it should be 145. Quick math. 145! Hey, happy days. It does exactly what we want it to. Here's another claw. Perfect. Replace the last one that I took out. Mm, I do want attack power and attack speed. Can't fit a belt in, but I can fit in two of these and save you. Let's go. So I'm hoping for a lot of levels because we need to rearrange a lot of the positioning of our items and fit in some of the stuff that we've saved up or locked up. These things can give you levels. Zero levels from the barrels. It is a rare drop. It's the rarest drop from the barrel, I believe. There is one! My prayers have been answered somewhat. One more level would be- Ooh, Okay, we're dead. So close to death. Very close to death. Dang, what happened? The first run that we had, we were feeling so tanky. And now I feel like an absolute fool. So we are going to get a bunch of space over here. I would like to fit in my claws. We're not going to have enough space for all the stuff that we're, we want. Yeah, we're not. We're not going to have it. I mean, I shouldn't even do any shopping to preserve the space. Save you. Actually, I can just combine you. Uh, I need to have all of them in the thing. I, I, I don't know why they don't let you combine from the holding space. There must be a reason why they don't let you do that. Maybe it's like... They just want to make it hard for you. <laughs> them harder for you. It is an inventory management game, so I guess they want to make it as uh, tough as possible to start combining things like that. But yeah, you have to have it actually in your inventory to combine things. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I have zero life seal, right? And zero recovery? So we're relying on barrels to heal, and that's not a good idea. But somehow we made it. Lots of levels happening. Oh god. I'm slow. I'm large. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh. Okay, so claws aren't working. Why is a butcher so tough? Is it seriously going to be the flail build? It, it simply cannot be a flail build that was going to work for us. More base damage while standing still. Adjacent armor gives you more armor. Additional armor while standing still. If I'm going to do a standing still build with him, I want to do the... What is it called? The dual, dual blades, I think it's called. Okay, so we wasted a lot of time. We got halfway through on the first run and then just had two quick deaths. Why? Dual blades are extremely, extremely annoying to build with because the shape is like a C, kind of. Shaped like a C. 
I'm not excited to do this, but I think it could be a vibe. It does work better when he's standing still, but maybe that's okay. Maybe that is totally fine. We'll see if we find any here. Sure, build this up. I'm not keeping in mind all of the items that I'm about to pick up or want to pick up. I'm going to stick you towards the corner and let's find those dual blades. Hmm. We found so many the first time we were playing. Here's a belt. Sure, I'll put you right there. Why not? Dual blades, please. Am I too headstrong about finding this particular item? There it is. Dual sword. When not moving, you get attack speed increase. Okay. So this butcher is going to be a standstill butcher. He's going to be standing at a station, slicing up the meat. Sure, I can put you right here. Could I possibly fit that? No, I don't think so. Let's go out. This butcher is gigantic already. Oh, the dual blades attack as two separate blades. I did not even know that. So we're trying to... We're trying to chill here. They are not letting us chill. We definitely don't have enough weapons. This will definitely let us chill. More enemies, please. I need them while I'm invincible. Yeah, I've never noticed. Whenever I build dual blades, I've done it a couple times, but like we have so many going on that uh, I I really didn't realize that they attack as two separate blades. That's kind of sick. Uh, eight spaces is great. Let's start building down here so that we can save some space for the bat to do its thing. I should be smarter with what I'm choosing. <laughs> because, like I said, this is shaped like a C, and it's... Uh, quite hard to work with. I mean, I could make a quick space for it like that. <laughs> Just a very dedicated space. Um, definitely want the crate collar, but I also really want another set of dual blades. Only two to combine the dual blades. That's sick. Maybe I can just level it up then. I can't fit you. Wait, what if I do this? What if I... Is there some way that I can fit it in? I really don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't work. For now, we just combine it. Until that, until we can find a way to fit it in. This doesn't make sense to put the hammer here, but it's going to go there for now. Uh-huh. Okay, give me more dual blades then. Oh, God, I really shouldn't waste money on rerolling. Yeah, I'm kind of out of money. All right, blue dual blades, let's go. This is giant butcher just standing right in the middle of the ring. Not being bothered by anybody. Slightly move out of the way. Holy crap, these guys. Okay, okay, okay. Chill. Chill. I want both of the barrels. Oh god. Please stop. All right, so five spaces, huh? Let them cook. If we go like this, there is no way to fit all these dual blades nicely together either. Like, they can't stack together. They can't fit into each other exactly. Maybe it can, actually. Like, the, the hook of it can go in here. Maybe there is a way to actually, like, get them all stacked up together. Okay, let me get these two spaces and see if we can cook something up. Boom. Boom. Like, if we have you like this... Like, that'd be sick if I could just stick it in like that, and then we can start sticking them all in different places, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put that those two like that for now. Another belt! Shoot, I need to have this touching the bat. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to lock it in. One more reroll. Nothing good. Let's go. Right, we want to stay still here. Is it weird that I still want to build move speed, although I'm more of a stationary character now? Just something in my brain wants to go move speed still. So. 
I mean, I guess in emergencies, it's not bad to have move speed. I think the move speed item that I will consider purchasing are the wing boots, which give you an additional dash, and it also gives you move speed. So, um, that's th that's two types of mobility that we really need as a stationary, stationary character. We can have more dashes so that we can just get out of the way faster and more often, and then it gives us that additional move speed in case we actually do need to like walk around. Okay, so I'm going to get this space and just move this guy over a touch. And then we need to get something for this crate collar to leave. That's not going to help us. That could help us. It's ugly, but whatever. Never mind. That's fine. Boom. We boom like that. Uh, yeah, actually, that was better over here. We have a space for a wing boot if it wants to offer one. Oh, damn! Vitality and recovery from this. It does give us less armor. It's not considered an armor, a piece of armor. Adjacent adjacent vitality items give you more. It doesn't need to be touching the bat because it's just going to give you a static number of vitality, but I'm going to take it for sure. Um, for some reason, I want it touching the bat to give it like a better spot just because it's a better item, although, it, like I said, it doesn't change anything. Um, I mean, if we build around the bat, we do need a couple more vitality items touching it, so I'll take the belt again. What am I looking for? Wing, winged boot would be nice. It's not gonna happen. One more reroll. Yeah, nothing good. Nice little bookshelf that we destroyed. Wait, why am I moving? I should be standing. That's why I'm moving, because these mosquitoes are crazy, crazy fast. There's some crates. I need the crates. The crates are totally worth it. Oh, there's two bombs. Wow, so many bombs. Slash them, slash them, slash them. Nice. Only two levels? Damn, dude. Let them cook. Alright, let's try to get these belts in. How should I put them in here? I feel like two sideways ones is easier to achieve. Okay, I'll put one up here for now, but we want to move it over so we can fit another one touching the bat. Oh crap, there's dual swords that I needed to save perhaps um yeah i should have bought the dual swords because we could have made this one blue we're definitely lacking in the amount of weapons area here's one but it's so hard to plan putting in more dual swords it's just a crazy crazy shape i will take the crate collar and we're getting out of here. I'm not too wealthy. Oh god, I'm slow. We're gonna stay in here until we see some crates drop. Which should be more often now that we've picked up a crate collar. Oh my god. Hey, they're dropping right on top of me. Are you kidding? Could they not do their spin attack on me? There you go, come, come at me. Come at me now. Come at me now. I can't kill anything. <laughs> Sad performance. Oh, wait. Get that crate. Is there any crate over here? Just wanted to check real quick. We can definitely find another space for some duel. If we face it down like this. Oh, crap. We're hitting the bottom already. So we did have a good arrangement for this because we could have fit another dual swords like that and then another one would have fit over here, but we hit the bottom. So that sucks. If we rearrange everything <laughs> to be more up here, we could do some more cooking, but we can only have two items in the holding space. So this might be really freaking hard to do. But I'm going to try to cook it up. Not going to lie. Uh, uh, <laughs> Damn it, belt. 
Okay, I guess I can avoid it going like this. Good. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, it has to be down one. It has to be down one. You have to go like this. Okay, cool. So we want our bat not like right there. I'm going to have less vitality this round, I think. Oh, wait, we can't have our bat over here because we need to s save this space for more dual swords. <laughs> Oh god, this is this is bad. This is bad. I don't think I can do much else for now. I have so much random ass space everywhere. Okay, let's do some free rerolls. But we got to cook a bit before we do anything else. Like we need to move our bat and our belts somewhere else and then save all this space for freaking dual sword stuff let's see if we can survive without any upgrades all right where are the crates at oh god i need invincibility there's some crates no invincibility though that was a level up maybe i don't know what that was okay let's go Give me some floor meat. Oh, damn it. We're chilling. We're chilling. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not a good idea to stand right in front of the werewolf when he's charging up a big attack, is it? We're good. Okay. Our performance was poor because we didn't get too many levels, but we're here. So we can put this area as the belt area, I guess. There's so much crap here that... I'm wondering if it will turn out fine for us. And then we need some like spaces out of the way for all of our miscellaneous items. Miscellaneous. That goes over here. At least for now. Ugh. Put you down here, please. And then we have to go like this. Okay, move this out of the way so we can put the hammer someplace, yes. Oh yeah, the hammer's in the way. God, this sucks. The hammer's definitely in the way. I can't even get another dual sword in here yet. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Um... Yeah, there's no way I can fit it. There is a way I can fit it. Nope, that's still not good. Can't move you. Wait, if I put you over here, does that help? Nope. What if I turn this thing, like, sideways? It does work! Hey, look at that! I figured it out, finally. It took long enough. I don't want another belt right now. I will take this res potion because I've been dying to way too much. Oh, finally, some lifesteal. This is a bad idea, because I'm not powerful enough to take the risk, but I'm still going to take it. Some armor. Let's see here. One more reroll. The dice is a good pickup. That'll give us better items through the luck. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we survive through this onslaught. One HP. We have some mosquitoes, which is not good. Get some lifesteal. Get some lifesteal. Barrels with invincibility. We're going to make it. That's basically what you have to rely on. If you're using the Ritual Doll and you're not very powerful, you have to get a barrel down, get invincibility, and hope that you find some floor chicken at that point. Or have enough lifesteal to like kind of make it through. But yeah, the, the floor meat is definitely sustaining me mo way more than the uh, lifesteal at this point. Three levels, not bad. Okay, can we fix this? I'm gonna try. So we need to put some more belts around the bat. That is what I'm going to currently work on. And that should open up more space for everything else as well. Uh, yeah, that can fit a belt. That will fit another belt, perfect belts 
I don't even have another belt to put over there. What the hell? Um, Reroll. This is a vitality item. Yes, it is. Wait a minute. We can put this near the bat, but it is going to give us... It's kind of inefficient for the space, but I can get this space over here and turn it around and put another belt or whatever the hell um, we want over there. So let's do that. And we have another dual sword. I'm going to combine it for now because we don't have enough space for the next one. But I do want to have four or five pairs of them would be great. Maybe even more. <laughs> Take the dice. I uh, don't really have that much space, but I'll reroll one more time. Let's go. Too so bad there's not like an actual butcher knife item. We would obviously use it with him, but it uh, doesn't exist. Okay, invincibility time. I would like to see my levels grow, please. I'm just going to stand here and let them hit me. That's one level. How sad. Hit that thing. Damn it. Where are the barrels? I, I'm going to be sad if we leave with only one level. Oh, there's another one from a barrel. Thank God. That was about to be really sad. Okay, four spaces. Not that much. We want to turn the lamp right now. Or get these spaces around the bat. That could fit a belt. I just need this one to turn the lamp. Please don't make me reroll. Way too much money on rerolls. Wait, I can choose two more spaces. Oh, come on. I want to turn that freaking lamp. It's not happening today, is it? It's not happening. <laughs> okay, it's not happening today. Screw it. I'll lose a little bit of health for the trade of crit chance. Oh, another lamp? I might take it. Experience gain is going to be less, which is kind of crappy now that I think about it, though. Um, I do want the vitality, and I do want the life steal. But the experience gain decrease is a little bit crappy because I'm hungry for more spaces. I guess I'll just reroll. Okay, let's just go in. We have our next belt ready. Just slowly tapping the move button. Oh. Oh, he's touching me. Get out of here. There you go, she's dead. I mean, our damage output isn't bad. It's just they have to be right freaking beside us for us to hit them. And so I, act I actually feel like it's slower to kill things if you're waiting for them to get to you. With other characters that are more mobile, I feel like we're killing more because we're like moving around the map and we're clearing more area and we're getting more enemies by like stepping in front of them and confronting them that way. But I could be wrong about that. Maybe this character just isn't doing so well. I'm saying this while we have plus four levels, which is actually really, really decent. Okay, here's another dual sword, a blue one right away. If we get these two spaces right here, we're definitely in good shape. We just have to move this freaking hammer somewhere. Um, I'm going to start buying spaces around here so I can turn this lamp around somehow. If I'm smart, I can probably fit the hammer somewhere that has some spaces already, too. I can't think about it. Uh, he's four spaces. Okay, you know what? Start building down here. So if we have three here, we have four here, and then we just want that space. There you go. We can fit the hammer there. I need this space for the slamp. Why aren't they offering it? Hey, finally! Okay, where else do I want to build? I don't even know. I'm just going to take two random spaces. Turn you. Now I have a random space right here that's really ugly. Put you over here. Oh, crap. I miscalculated. I need another space. Actually, I can still stick you in like this, I guess. It's really ugly, but I'll eventually turn him over here. Or turn it over there. 
And let's see what else we can find. Oh, an upgrade, absolutely. Upgrade this one, sure. Why not? Keep rolling. What does this do? Resource gain, move speed, and dodge chance are less. Meh. Whoa. Melee power, magic power, but we lose move speed. I guess I'll take the trade. It's fine. It's actually a really good trade. Um, attack speed and crit chance over here, but I really want to use this ritual doll. There has to be the space available. We have so many random little pieces of open space. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to lock you in. Take you in. I'm going to lock in the dual sword too, because if we can get two of them, then we can make it into a blue, and then we can upgrade one of our blues type of thing. So we're starting at 1 HP again. Let's see how this goes. Oh god, I used my res because I didn't dodge out of the way from the freaking goat attack. Thank god I picked up that res. But now we have a decent amount of life seal, I guess. Right? Kind of? We could use more. But yeah, I saw that goat charging up for an attack, and I thought we would have hit him with the dual swords and killed him before he got to us, but didn't turn out that way, unfortunately. Alright, let's stand still as we're invincible. Got a little bit of cash there. The crate collar game is weak. How many do I even have? I only have two. That's less than I usually have. Only two spaces available? Not good. Uh, I need these two spaces right here to get the format that I want for this dual sword situation. I can't even do it, can I? Yes, I can. We're going to point you downwards. Seems like I opened up a lot of space just by doing that. Um, I can take a risk with the dual sword because I'm going to take a risk with the dual sword because now we have to find another gray dual sword for us to be able to combine and then take all the weapons that we have with us for the next battle. The worst case scenario is, holy crap, I found another one. I'm going to make this one red. The worst case scenario is that I just have to sell the gray one if we don't find another one. Oh, lantern. I want the lantern. It's gonna spawn more enemies. Holy crap, we found a cross gun level four. Oh, I want this. I do want that. Can't find a space for it. But yeah, we really need a gray dual sword. Oh, hourglass. So we can get a bunch of dodge chance from this. So I'm gonna take it. What's the chance that I have? I What are the chances of finding a gray? Damn it. I was going to say, what are the chances of finding a gray dual sword while having multiple items locked? It's not going to happen. We're just going to sell this. A little bit of a loss. It's okay. But we got three really good items for this character coming up for us. The hourglass I usually pick up with a bunch of move speed positive. Positive move speed, I should say. It gives you luck that way. But um, this might be the first time I'm using it with negative move speed. One of the first times, at least. Dodge chance would be nice. Then I can stand still a little bit more. And uh, I guess I'm going to try to get negative move speed again. So those winged boots, definitely not picking them up if we see them. More levels would be nice. We're doing okay with levels. Plus three would be perfect. Any crates I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, not gonna make this three. That's okay. All right, where do we need to build? So we got this other belt. Um, do you reduce move speed? No, you do not. This thing reduces move speed, right? The, the normal belt? Yes, it does. Um, so we gotta start like making use of these useless spaces. Actually, the belt can go right here. It's fine. Um, I guess we just like build spaces wherever and just start moving 
some of our items around because I want this area for our next uh, dual blades if we want another set. If I could get this space right here, that'd be great. And then this space over here would be great. There you go. Put the dice up here. Put this over here. Put the hourglass over here. Put the life sealing glove over here. And then now we're full. Life seal glove popped up again. Okay, let's bounce out of here. I'm not going to waste money on rerolls if I don't need to. Ouch, that boar really hurt. I'm just going to stand here. I should have decent dodge chance. It is 24%. So, you know, a quarter of the attacks to me should not hit me. I think. Yeah, look at those. I dodged that bomb. Look at those dual swords go, baby. Right, I'm going to move around just for a second for crates. They both dropped right when I started moving. Could you hit it, please? Perfect. Plus three. Can we get to plus four? 14 seconds to do it. You can do it. Come on, Butcher. I'm taking so many hits. You can find it in a barrel. Nope. Mm, so close. So close with plus four. Okay, so six spaces, yeah? You know what? Build over here. We're going to start migrating items over to the right-hand side. This this is definitely the most messed up looking inventory I've ever had. I usually don't have these little nooks and crannies built around um, our spaces. Man, they're not giving me anything that I want. Just give me this one. The game must be confused because it's like there's so many adjacent spaces everywhere that builds into these small corners. I don't know which one you want. Oh, damn. Bloody Teeth is... Uh, I don't want to say it's the best item, but it's like... It's one of the best. Top five, I think. So it gives you more elite enemies, and every time you kill an elite enemy, it gives you more damage and more armor. Um, it is by far, like, the most... I guess I would say it's the best item in the game, then. I, I always try to get it as soon as I can. As soon as I see it, I, I always pick it up always 100%. There's other items that will spawn even more elites on the map as well as an effect and um, I'm gonna look out for those now. We don't have any more space. We're very lacking in space. I actually don't even know if we're well equipped enough to really handle elites that easily. But Oh my god there it is. But the more elites we kill the more suitable we are to kill even more elites right <laughs> come on die oh my oh he did his super spin he's dead are they gonna spawn another one there is a chance that they spawn more elites because um, the necklace itself will spawn one additional but there could be a natural spawn of a couple of elites it is floor 14 so it's not a crazy thing to see more than one elite spawn naturally. Oh, look at those levels! Plus five. Plus six? Can we get there? I'm almost dead. I am very close to death. Holy crap. Okay, screw the plus six. I just want to survive. We were close to plus six, though. 50 health out of 300. That is not good. Magic finger, what do you do again? Attack speed, but less resource gain. I think I can go with that, because we have way more gold than we do uh, spaces. You know what I mean? Uh, keep building down here. Why aren't you offering me any in this area? Like, it's just weird. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Keep going. Build a little square for me, please. Boom. Boom. You know what? I'll take any adjacent space. There you go. So we are going to start moving things over here. A little migration happening. Oh, frick, the hammer. I totally forgot about the hammer again. It's always a gosh darn hammer. Ugh. We're almost ready for our next set of blades. I think after that, I will be happy with how many blades that uh, we have. We're going to take this for now. 
Ooh. More enemy amount would actually work out for us. I feel like we have kept up with the damage. It's such a weird shape, though. I don't know what that potion gave me. Did it give me... Did it give me move speed? I don't think it did. I don't want move speed from those dragon blood. I'm going to take this, do the free reroll, and then get the hell out of here. Right, we can't take another lamp. We want the experience. All right, how does this work? Our rage is huge. So we are attacking things outside of our feast area. Oh my god, the elites just all came at once and they're smacking me in the face. I need to find a good place to stand. Or invincibility, there you go. Smack him, smack him, butcher, go, 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 go. Oh, we're almost dead. I want to kill the elites so I can get the armor and the damage increase. I think they're dead. Where are they now? They are dead. Here's a level. Okay. Okay. This can work. More lifesteal would be good. Just because I have to heal so much HP. But the floor meat is helping, of course. Plus five? Oh, we're so close. We're not going to make it. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We got this. So we need to move this gosh darn hammer. I'm going to start building down here now. Just to move this hammer out of the way. Uh, four and then one. So I'm just going to focus on getting the one space that we need for this hammer. It's this one right here. Please? Holy... I guess I can stick it down there too. Yeah, that makes that makes total sense to do that. Sure. So we take the mystical finger, we put it down here. Yes. We just stick you over here. Oh, I forgot about this stupid thing. I totally forgot about this stupid skull. Okay, I can't fit my dual swords in, but we will take a dice. Reroll. Um, this thing is an interesting item. I don't think I'm gonna use it because it gives you one of one of a random character's starting items. It's usually useless. I'm gonna give up a little bit of vitality for some crit chance. Another reroll. You know, I'll reroll again. Here's a vampire heart. So this is exactly what I was looking for. We don't have a ton of life seal, but this gives us some. You get more damage for each life seal and you get a bunch of vitality from it. So that's a huge thing that can help us. We already have 214 vitality, which is nuts. Um, I wonder how this would work touching the vampire bat. I don't know if it would do anything, but hey, let's give it a shot. So it's 15 life steal. It, it just gives you more life steal, I bet, right? Because this thing says adjacent life steal items begin plus three. Um, but it also does plus one vitality. I wonder if it would adjust that somehow. No, it's just giving us that additional um, life steal. And it gives us vitality too. So it actually gives us that plus three from vitality and plus three from life steal. So actually it is most beneficial to have it touching the bat. We're going to take a res for sure. I'm not doing this again. Let's just jump into the next battle here. So the heart thing, it drains your HP, but... It's giving you so much life steal that you should be able to heal it back. It seems like the um, the heart is doing percentage drain to your HP, which now that I think about it, works poorly with the um, the butcher here, because we're losing four health per tick, and life steal is always only going to heal you one per per trigger, and so. If the heart is on a character with 100 max HP, it's only going to take away one HP per tick type of thing. And then you're healing just as fast as you would as any other character with that much lifesteal. So yeah, it's it's not as effective on this character, but it does give us a bunch of vitality, which increases the range of the, um, the feast area, and it increases the effectiveness of the feast area. So it's a trade-off for sure. It's a little bit risky, but I think it's working fine. We're actually doing um, pretty decent damage now for any enemies inside of the area of the, the feast thingamajig. So let's keep going. 
<sighs> Let's move you out of here. I forgot about the freaking skull again. Okay, just move you over here. We could almost fit it over here, but then we're going to have some odd spaces. Whatever. Don't need another one of those. Next round, we have to think about what we're doing with that gosh darn skull thing. Move speed plus one, max dodge chance, right. Negative one damage for every one percent move speed. Yeah, that doesn't work for us. Look at that. We found Abyssal Cleaver and Sovereignty right beside each other, which is crazy. Um, I should pick them up. This thing is lifesteal based, so it's really, really nice. It's so hard to fit in here. And this is gaining attack speed based on lifesteal. Um, these are good weapons for like any character that I play. Let's just pick them up. Maybe we pick them up instead of another dual blade. Um, I'm just going to move on to save, conserve money and we want to save space for those two special legendary items that we just found as well. So This should be interesting. I didn't think this is the way that the character was going to go, but we were lucky enough to find a bunch of unique legendary weapons. <laughs> And the Vampire Heart. Okay, so we are doing a crap ton of damage. We're gonna give this Butcher a couple new tools for him to Butcher with. But I am excited to finally get this guy done. I can't believe I had so many quick deaths with it. The first run that we did um, with the Flails. That was a little bit heartbreaking too. I thought we were gonna make it. We were so tanky for a while, then we just all it all just went downhill pretty quick. But I am feeling confident with the res potion in our pocket and also how well we're doing with the lifesteal. I think we'll be okay. So we gotta do something about this skull thing. Okay, we can get the skull thing out of the way that way. Uh, what size are these things? So they are six spaces tall each, yeah? Can we fit six here? Almost. We just have to move the hammer again. The hammer is always a freaking burden. Uh, I think we can move it over here actually. So that's actually not a problem. I'm just going to get some spaces over here for just like random items that we might need to move. Such as this so that we can move you over here. So this is inconvenient. This three spot over here. Um, Got to move this over here. This is, this seems inefficient. No, it's not. So we have Abyssal Cleaver coming in. Boom. We have Sovereignty coming in. So Abyssal Cleaver does a lot of things. Gain attack speed based on lifesteal, which we have 49 of. So that should be good. Adjacent lifesteal items grant bonus plus four lifesteal. Adjacent life stealing items. Um... I don't have any life stealing items unless they're talking about like armor or not armor, but like accessories and stuff. But I don't think that's what, what it means. And it's too hard to figure out anyways. Gain 10 gold whenever the player life steals. Increase two plus two resource gain for each adjacent life steal weapon. Adjacent life steal weapons grip plus two gold every time they life steal. So I'll let them two work together. They are life stealing items, but I don't think I'm going to try to get more life stealing items. Oh, I just unlocked this thing. We found an yet another unique legendary weapon. I can't believe it because I only have a little bit of luck. Like 27 luck is not hard to achieve and I've gotten like 80 luck and not been l this lucky with the unique weapons. Let's see what it does. A halberd with a holy banner after killing 25 enemies increase flat damage by three and a random stat by one. Random stat can be armor, vitality, attack speed, or luck. Holy crap, adjacent weapons benefit from flat damage increase. This thing is crazy. I'm going to try to pick it up. Why not, right? Like, that thing is nuts. I'm going to try to slot it. I mean, I want the Abyssal Cleaver and the Sovereignty to be touching. So it would be great if I could have it laying on top of it or something, on top of both of them. We'll figure it out. We only have two floors to figure it out. So we'll see if we actually get a chance to figure it out. But if not, I'll just pick it up and have it touching one of the weapons. I don't want to refactor my whole inventory or anything. And we're doing crazy amounts of damage every once in a while. Not the most I've ever seen, but we're doing thousands of damage every once in a while. 
I think it's with the crit with one of the really big weapons close up to, um, if we have an enemy close up in the feast area. And we should be getting a crap ton of cash from this. We indeed are getting a crap ton of cash from this. Our, our cash generation, our gold generation is through the roof. Holy crap, we're getting like 3,000 per round now? That's more money than we would ever be able to spend because we don't have that much space. I just had an idea actually, maybe we combine some of our dual dual swords to get a better position for this thing. So if I were to lay you across at the top, it'd be six by three, six and three, six, right, right that's six, and then three up here. I'm just gonna get that set up, all sorted out for us. Please, there you go. Okay, two more spaces, whatever. Just give me that, I don't care. Combine two things. Oh wait, I have to move this somewhere else. Wait, no, I can just move it like that, right? What? No, it needs this space, F. Um, I mean, I could sell one of my dual swords, <laughs> just phase them out a bit. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. Wait a minute. If I find another blue one, I can make this one into a red one. So wait, wait for it. I'm going to remove you, possibly sell, get this thing in here. It's touching multiple different weapons, which is amazing. Let's see what else we need. This cube, absolutely. It gives us life seal and recovery. Life seal is good for us, obviously. Life seal is good for us, obviously. So we're taking this. More crit chance, please. Do it. Second last thing we're about to jump into. Second last uh, wave. So this is going to give me melee power, crit chance. Killing an enemy with critical hit instantly refreshes cooldown. It gives us less magic power. That is a good, good thing for us. What are you? Four spaces? I don't think it's worth four spaces, to be honest. But I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> okay, don't give me move speed. Anything but move speed. It gave me attack speed. Amazing. More vitality from belts. I might save you. I can't fit you anywhere? Okay, whatever. I can reroll so much. Don't want the banner. It gives us move speed. Here's life steal. I'm going to start with one HP. So, just as a note, <laughs> this could end badly. Crit chance and attack speed. We're going to go in like that. We're going to give up our dual sword because we can't fit it back in and we didn't find what we needed. Oh my god, look at this spear. It's so cool. Yeah, I, I just unlocked it. So before I started recording for this, I um, any weapons that I could unlock without ruining our first time winning with a specific character type of thing. So any challenges for um, characters that we've already completed that would unlock a new weapon, I, I just went ahead and did them. And this, this banner spear, or whatever it's called, was one of them. I'm losing a lot of HP. Oh god. So yeah, I, my lifesteal is not out healing the vampire's heart taking away my... Uh, my HP? That's not good. Damn, we're doing 2,300 damage every once in a while. Am I about to have 10k gold? I, I, th I, I think I might have gotten above 10k gold in the past, but this would be like the second time ever doing it for sure. Okay, so what do we want? Just whatever, 10 spaces? Holy crap, how did I get 10 spaces? I'm going to pick up the belt for sure because it's fun and it gives us vitality and we want to build vitality with this character. So we pick up that vitality and we're going to try to roll for good items. Yes, give me the life steal. Don't need resource game. We're on the last level. I'm going to give up a little bit of life steal for the 25% attack speed. It's totally worth it in my opinion. 
Give me something good. We don't even have space, but I can sell something that I don't like. <laughs> I already have a res, so I'm not going to pick up another one. I have so much money. Upgrade. Upgrade this into red. Works out just fine. Potion of Enlargement can give us some more options, I guess. I'm going to build around here. Just because we have available spaces and it makes the most sense to attach them to that. More enlargement? Sure. That's like gaining multiple levels. Sure, that's a little bit ugly, but I'll do it. Give up some vitality for some crit. Our crit chance is almost 50. It is 50. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting that. We actually don't need this arcane anvil. Um, I'm going to keep my vitality instead of the grabbing that potion. <laughs> I'm not going with another ritual doll. Wait, should we? <laughs> All right, I do have a res. That's kind of a stupid idea, but I just went ahead and did it. Give me some really rare ones. These are This is costing a lot of money to reroll now. 300 bucks, but it's the last level, so we might as well just use all of it. We can fit this skull, actually. Enemy amount is going to be higher. So we've just increased the challenge of this next uh, this, this next wave by a lot. Uh, I'm going to sell the dice set for this lifesteal because luck is more of a during the whole run. Like, you want it throughout the run but the last level you don't really need luck anymore increases weapons crit chance set uh wait all weapons crit chance sets to flat 50 percent any adjustment made to crit chance will be converted to critical damage non-crit attacks have a chance to become super crit holy crap this thing's really freaking good i just unlocked this as well and i'm gonna try to pick it up we don't need the dice set don't need the dice set yo get this in here I wonder how... Wait, critical damage is negative 4 now? Any adjustment to critical chance will be converted to critical damage. Oh, it, it takes away negative 4, but any critical chance will now be critical damage. Okay. Um, I think that's good. Let's get in there. Here's the boss, finally, everyone. Oh, right. I'm losing health at a fast rate, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm almost dead already. I'm taking damage. I think the vampire's heart actually takes... It, it, you have to be 50% health or something to for it to take. Anyways, we just crit him like five times as we were invincible and he was standing in the feast area. And we're finally done with the butcher. Holy moly. That took a long time. Um, finishing all of his aspects unlocked a fist thing. Let's take a look as we're here anyways. So we unlocked a fist item. Oh wait, run, win a run with all juggernaut ex aspects. I just did that. What? I just literally did that. Hold on, let me switch to another character. I wonder why that didn't unlock. Juggernaut completed on tier five, tier five, tier five. You can tell by the name highlight, uh, it's in orange and tier five is, Calamity five, sorry is is orange as you can see at the top so yeah i don't know what they are on about that thing should be unlocked i don't know why it isn't and i will try to figure that out because i definitely want to see what that thing is but anyways that's the juggernaut we're going to be moving on to another character next time that we haven't finished yet i know we haven't done the aristocrat or the king i believe there's probably a couple of other characters that we haven't finished but yeah we're slowly making our way through hopefully you guys are enjoying the god of weapons content please leave a like if you are don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well and that's what we got for now and i'll see you again soon peace